Hello everyone, this is RJ with Prayer Through Proverbs. I want to thank you and welcome you once more joining us in prayer and joining us in reading the Proverbs. And I pray that there will be something that God speaks directly to your heart. It doesn't have to be the same with me, but there's so many good verses in the chapter that we had read, especially from chapter uh, Proverbs chapter 24. Uh, there's so many good wisdoms. And I wanted to share from 13 and 14 where it spoke to my heart and it says my child eat honey for it is good the honeycomb is sweet in your mouth and i guarantee you peter's gonna love this verse but it's more about eating honey it's more of what is compared to be know that wisdom is like that for your whole being if you find it there is a future your hope won't be cut off and wisdom is a sweet sound of God that offers us the guidance of life. And that wisdom, I believe, is the word of God. And it comes to a point of asking, how do we enjoy the word? Does the word really taste like honey? Or is it something that we do not really enjoy the sweetness and the joy that the word can offer? And that's why we read the Bible. And I would say that's the reason why we pray for God's wisdom when we read the Bible is because when we are reading the Bible and when we have that wisdom to understand God's will, we will see how the word can truly become sweet in our life. And the sweetest thing that happens when we are engaging ourselves into the word is especially when that word fills up inside of me and that word is shared beyond me and if we can't share uh, if we don't have anything in it it means that we can't really share it so let me share another verse that when i was reading it i made a connection and i uh, remembered this verse immediately and this is from ezekiel chapter 3 verse 1 and 3 where god calls ezekiel he says to ezekiel human one eat this thing that you found. Eat this scroll and go and speak to the house of Israel. So it's the connection of saying, if I don't have any of the word of God in me, I cannot speak. And because God was calling Ezekiel to speak the prophecy of the Lord, Ezekiel had to consume God's word. And in this time, literally through the scroll. So Ezekiel opened his mouth and he fed me the scroll. So Ezekiel opened the mouth and God had fed, the angel of God had fed the scroll to Ezekiel. And he said to me, human one, feed your belly and fill your stomach with the scroll that I give you. So I ate it and in my mouth it became as sweet as Honey. And I have to go back and ask, how much do we focus our time and our energy to eat from the Word of God? We are to eat God's Word, and as the Word continues to fill our life, that's when that love can be shared naturally and overflow into this world. That's when we can share the hope that comes from Jesus because of the word that is filled in our lives. And the question is, do I really eat that word? And do I really enjoy eating God's word? And if that's not happening, there's one way to do it. Asking God that I can take God's word and make it taste like honey in my life. So let us have a time to pray and ask God for the word of God to be like honey in our lives. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for this time that we come together. Thank you for this time that we can read your word. We're thankful that we're reading 
Proverbs, we're reading one chapter a day, but Lord, we also pray that it will be more than that that it will be a time we will spare out that time. We will eat your word and Lord, let it taste like honey in our mouth. So we can share that sweet news and sweet joy of your hope into this world. So Holy Spirit, pour out to us your grace so we can taste and consume and live by the sweet word that comes from you. So let's have a time to pray and ask God, Lord, Lord, make this be my prayer and let me desire your words every day. Let us pray together. Let us pray. And as we continue to pray, I would like to pray and ask us to pray in a, in a prayer of intercession for all who are struggling because of this virus, the ones who are battling, let's pray for them, the families who lost their loved ones, let's pray for them, people who are struggling economically, let's pray for them, states that are struggling in this strife, let's pray for them. Let us have a time to pray for all the people and the people who we love and the people beyond our love. Let us pray together. And I need you. And as we continue to pray, I would like to invite you to pray for our leaders, our healthcare workers, and our essential workers. They are in need of God's wisdom and God's protection, and we pray that God will work through them. Let us have a time to pray together. Let us pray. Now let us pray. Let us pray for, uh, let's pray the prayer that our bishop had asked us to pray every day. Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we thank you for your blessing past, present, and future. You are a rock and the source of our hope in all things and at all times. As Jehovah Jireh, our provider God, we ask you this day to stretch out your mighty hand and eradicate from the face of the earth forever this virus called COVID-19 that is spreading 
rapidly from continent to continent. We also pray that you, Jehovah Rapha, our healing God, will place your hand upon all those who have been stricken by this virus and restore them to full health. Be with those who have lost loved ones and grieving. Protect all who are caring for those with this virus and keep them from contracting it themselves. Calm our fears and provide us with the peace that surpasses all understanding. Strengthen us with the joy of the Lord and help us to hold firmly to the hope that only you can provide. Unify us that we, the Virginia Annual Conference, may be able to experience anew the promise of your presence in and through the unity of our faith, hope, and trust, and in you in the days ahead forever. We offer this prayer in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And let us also pray the prayer that our Lord had taught us, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you once more for joining me in prayer. I pray that you will continue to seek and desire the word of our Lord. And may that word fill your hearts, fill your life, and overflow into this world. Be the blessing. And if you have any prayers, let us know, and we'll pray with you together. We thank you, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.